Mo and Problem. P problem is in the blue, Mo is in the white. On the stream, on the Twitch, let us know who you like. Do you like the GOAT or do you like Mo? Let, let us know. Mo is going to get ball first, come out in that single back deuce close and audible out of it immediately. Problem back. Does not look 4 4 here against Mo. We saw mainly 3 3 5 out of Problem yeah, yesterday. 3 3 5 yesterday. Now he's in there 4 4. You already know Problem has been putting in the work. He's laughed. He already has the scouting report on everybody. And if there's somebody he definitely has the scouting report on, it is Serious Mo. Great blocking upfield there. And something like that, he knows Mo went back to the hotel, looked at everything about that 3 3 5, saw what little nuances were in that defense that he could exploit. Problem knew he did the same thing. So what's Problem do when he shows up? Immediately jumps into another form. Definitely. That's why he's the GOAT. Not afraid to those adjustments even when something still is working for him. Just basically trying to be the Belichick of Madden in every aspect. Now one thing a little different about this formation, the single high safety against a player like Mo. Mo loves to attack. Wow, picked off. Big interception by Problem. Second play of the game, second and two. And just like that, the single high safety, Earl Thomas, jumps a seam route, which is exactly what you can do in that 4-4. I'm not sure if that was that cover two invert, but the way that safety came down, it looked a lot like one of those robber zones to jump that seam route. Mo was just a step ahead there. Excuse me, problem was a step ahead there. Once again, this is why he is the GOAT. Coming out, getting a big turnover on Mo's opening drive. That is sending a, sending a big statement to Mo. I got your number today. The halfback wham, great block. And he might be field. going to the house. Ooh, caught from behind, but that could have got dangerous quick. It looked like we were going to have seven, not early, but real early. Yeah, it's real early, and Mo needs to wake up. He still seems like he's a little bit sleep. He needs to wake up, shake it off, get a shot of espresso, whatever, but he got to snap back and get into this game. Most definitely. This is not a game where you can have a slow start. You cannot start slow against the greatest of all time. Single back deuce close for problem as well. Half back wham. You'll see a lot of it today, and it will go for a lot of yards. That first play, that 4-4, do you think that was more of problem just being that good on defense, or did he really show Mo something that he wasn't expecting? I think it's a both of them. Both just a of mixture of both? Yeah, a mixture of both. Good defense by Mo right there to blow it up in the backfield. Third and 10, this is a big down for problem. You know problem, if he doesn't convert, he's going to take his three and be happy with it. Third and 10, we'll have to see the first pass play of the game. Wouldn't be surprised to see Richardson try to isolate defenders here. Scream! And I believe that's what he was going to was that crossing route over to Richardson. The block sheds get to him. He is going to have to settle for three, but after a turnover, you are not mad at that. Yeah, Mo dialed up, dialed up the defense right there, had the pressure coming off the right side. Problem did right by stepping up in the pocket, but he had that block shed as soon as he stepped up. When you have three points in this, oh, ooh. I, I got, oh, I got, I got a little, I got a little worried. Oh, I got slight worried there. Oh. I had, I had a quick inkling of some goes. I saw it in my head. Mm. We got in there though, three nothing. Mo does not look satisfied with that whatsoever. I mean, Mo has to like that to hold him three after a big turnover. Not to go down by seven. Oh, hey, stick work. He, he might Big be going spin. to the house. That's what a great spin move. And Mo is going to the house on the kickoff. Problem just gave up a big kick return. He's not known for producing offense. And Mo comes out here and makes a great move with showing, displaying great stick work to bounce right back and be up by four. Mo Joke just texted me and said he appreciates that kickback. <laughs> Seventh. Maybe. Oh, no. Blocked. blocked. Will. He's going to get it. He's, no, he's. Wow. Okay, maybe. Okay. All right. Okay. Nobody wanted it. 6-3. Now that means all he needs is three, and that's a tie game again. That oh. could be a big block. There oh, was okay. a big block last night in that primetime versus scheming game. Primetime lost a game by four in which he had a field goal block that was taken back for a touchdown. A 10-point swing in a game, and he lost by four. And today we see a blocked extra point to keep the lead at three. Hey, 
These guys are already living up to the hype in the first quarter. This is why the stream loves to see problem in Mo play. They know it's going to be a classic. Championship Sunday, and we are in rare form already. Halfback wham. Uh-oh. Bad angle by Mo right there. Gave up some big yardage. I'll be honest, I didn't expect to see nine points in the first two quarters, let alone the first two minutes. Hey, it happens. That was a big block by problem. Real big. And he, the spin move, I think, by Mo was the most impressive thing there. It was. To how, be able to spin back went, against where how, he was running yeah, with that, I like that. he went out and did the back spin. That stick, stick work, real glitchy. Real stick work right there. 6-3. Great job, manually guarding that. And a big oh, hit! Baby. He causes another one! He causes another one, and he's going to go into the house again! Damn, damn! Big E! That's how you play, Mo! That's how you play! Mo has 12 points right now. And oh, quick. Oh. Time. Oh, it's getting live in here, man. It's getting live in here. Mo in here kicking him in the chest. He ain't afraid of the problem. He told me last night he was going to show up. And boy, he's showing up and showing out. A 10 point lead from Mo. Wow. A kick return. A fumble six. That man is looking like the Florida Gators right now. We may not score on offense, but we can win some games. Mo looking like he is going to be the problem in this tournament. Oh boy. Oh boy. Mo come out here playing like this. It's gonna be trouble, trouble. Let's see if problem can just put that behind himself, put together a good drive. He needs to score on this drive. Not okay. screen. Sheldon has Michael Bennett has no time for that. Uh-oh. This is a very, very, very big possession. I understand there's a minute left in the first quarter. There is nothing but time left in this game. This is a huge possession for Problem. Got him. He got him with the coaching adjustment. Caught Mo cheating there. He had his pass rush on aggressive. Fakes the snap. User jumps. That is so smart by Problem. Absolutely. He's not to the get greatest sacks, be, to, be, to lose five yards. Say, hey, man, you know, let me see if I can make this shirt get in the jump mm -hmm. off size. I saw him put that coaching adjustment on aggressive. That's just smart coaching. Even when he's making some good plays and Madden is, Ooh. you know, making them pay. This is exciting John Madden football real early in today's single elimination. And we've got nothing but more games like this lined up for you guys. Millennial Esports, we are in downtown oh, Fremont Street. Top floor in Neonopolis. If you're watching at home and you're local, come out and see us. We are free all day. This is like a championship game as soon as you open up the broadcast. Good gracious. Let's go. Let's see if Problem can answer back. Most likely, you know how he plays. He's what? not going to quit. He's not a quitter. He's going to play smart. Well, problem has been down 10 points in one game more times than I've played Matt. This man has been in the trenches for years Definitely. and years and years. He's won games where he's been down 21. He's lost games where he's been up 21. He's been in this situation before. Do not count the goat out. Definitely not counting him out. If anybody is built and bat battle tested, that's going to be proud. Uh oh, good play. And a good job there just forcing Mo to guard somebody yeah. and throwing underneath. Four intermediate routes for him there. Made Mo guard one of them so he could attack the other. And that's the problem showing how clutch he is to not rush that pass and throw it, thinking that Mo's going to stay on that drag. Mo, Mo tried to bait him, hop back. Problem ran straight back to that drag that Mo was first cover. Second and long still. In field goal range here. Let's watch out for those block sheds so we can make sure he stays within field goal range. Another run up the middle. Picks up about five. We're going to have third and manageable. Now you're in field goal range. You really need points this drive. I expect him to make a safe play call here. That doesn't mean he's going to run the ball, but I don't think he's going to do anything too crazy. Here. Problem is trying to get some points. Simple route, conservative catch, great first down. Keep your drive moving. You need points here. This is a huge drive. You need points. This is typical problem, you know. You think all he can do is run the ball, but when he, he needs to drive and score and pass, somehow he always does it. Trey Y flex 
for Mona for problem. Good handoff, good play call. Very good play call. Now the field just shrunk. 15 yards, we saw a lot of nervous reads in this area yesterday. Let's see, see if the problem change that. Did you see problem? As you see problem, letting this clock tick, getting his composure together, rubbing his hand, blowing it out. Hey, trying to loosen up, make sure he ain't got the jitters on him. He can take it to the two minute warning if he wants to. We'll see what decision he makes. Looks like we're gonna go to the two. Two minutes to go in the first half. The GOAT down 10 with ball. Serious Mo, problem. First and 10 from the 15. Single back deuce close, the most popular formation in Madden 18. Great run defense there. Great run defense Mo from Mo. Two possession and hasn't scored one touchdown on offense. Hasn't touched the ball on offense. Well, that interception through the air to curl. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Two clock from the GOAT. Two back close. Another run up the gut, stretches it a bit oh. outside, and a great juke there. Takes a few more seconds with him. Smart man, doesn't want to give Mo too, too, too much time Just to answer him back in the first half. Just what you would expect from the GOAT. The when drive he needed. When you face some adversity, get your composure back, shake it off, blow it out, come back with a great offensive drive. Now he's only down by three, and he needs one stop. And Mo hasn't scored on offense. At all. Quick check-in on the Cyrus the Vibus versus True Boy match. 0-0 zero, zero here, a little bit more of a defensive struggle like I expected in our feature game on the station. Cyrus in blue, True Boy in white. Let's take a quick look. True Boy on offense, <laughs> under center, ace pair. Cyrus looking to occupy the outside oh, running big lanes run. himself. Can't do it. We checked in just in time. Rawls, touchdown, 6 nothing. True Boy. True Boy just playing great stick work right there. See if Cyrus the Virus can answer back with some good plays on offense. Never count the extra point before it's through those posts. It is going to go up, and Cyrus is going to attack it. No. A little early on his dive there. 7 nothing. True Boy. minute and a half left there. A minute left in the first half on Problem and Mo. We will keep you updated on that. And let's see what Cyrus can come back with as far as an answer goes. <laughs> three, three, five wide out of True Boy. Definitely the most popular defense formation, or excuse me, most popular defensive formation this year. Hurry up offense here from Cyrus. Saw something he liked. Right back to that strong eye we saw him in yesterday. A gap up the middle, sack. Third and 16. Let's see if Cyrus can convert this. This is a big down. Interesting to see him come out in that dual tight end deuce close set on such a long down and distance here. Maybe he knows a play that I don't know from this formation. Dot caught a corner route in double coverage, first down. Clock keeps moving, however, did not get himself out of bounds. Has his full complement of timeouts. Feels comfortable with the way the clock is, first and 10. Right oh, up the big middle. hit, banging. Clark with the block shed. True Boy saw something he liked. Cyrus saw something he liked. Problem and Mo right back. We had a slight technical difficulty. A few audibles needed to be changed there. We respected the players, got them out of there. We were right back into the game here. 50 seconds left, second and 11. 
We hear you guys in the chat wanting problem with Mo. They're trying to set up their audibles and get the game ready. Here's problem with Mo. Punch tied in for the first time in the game. You saw him make his manual substitutions there to get people where he wants them. Mo needs 60 yards and he has 30 seconds. Good draw. I like the draw play call. Breaks one tackle. Needs maybe six or seven yards to get himself into field goal range. Yeah. See if he can get three right here. The first down, obviously it. the most important thing here on third and inches, but you have to look a little bit further, get yourself to about the 35, 34 to feel comfortable, make sure you can get points on the board before halftime. He only Still has, has 20 to. seconds. So he has, has that one time off the clock. It wide receiver quick, picks up the first down wow. and the needed yardage. It's a 56 yarder from here. Uses that last time out. Expect to see him attack the sidelines here, try to pick up a chunk of yards, get himself out of bounds so he can get that field goal off. However, do not just pay attention to the sidelines. Let him get himself over the top and score six here. Wide receiver quick again. Good spin move. Should still have time to get it off. Gains an extra yard. Makes it a 55-yard attempt instead of the 56. Needs five seconds to get the field goal off. It looks like he will just get that in. Make it. Should have a second left when he kicks I it. Two seconds this. left. He missed this. He's short. Rushed himself just a little bit, did not get the kick. I, he had more time than he thought, I believe, there. He, no, had he didn't have more time. He just didn't get all his leg into it. He had that extra second. He could have got that meter quite up there. I feel like he rushed himself there. I feel like he rushed. Cyrus and True Boy, 20 seconds left in this half. Let's watch the last set of plays here. We'll get you back to that problem in Mo match. Pistol big from Cyrus here. I like it. Big truck. Timeout. 14 seconds left there. Looking to tie this game before halftime. Deuce close. Good flood there. Russell throws it out of bounds. He'll have two more shots with nine seconds on the clock and a timeout. Third and six, big down right before half. Cyrus needs to put up some points right here. The offense Cyrus runs, definitely the first time I have seen, the only person I've seen run it. Saw it yesterday when he ran it. I like the effectiveness. I like how basic he can be under center. Rawls is going to break one real long in the problem Mo here. Problem looking to take that lead back already in field goal range. Can tie it at worst here. single back deuce on a lot of your screens today. Get used to it and get used to seeing the 3-3-5 three, three, to stop it. Pick up of about four there on a scramble. Good slide. Avoids an unnecessary hit stick. Second and manageable. Once again, problem. Even though he faced some adversity with the kickoff return and the fumble to the crib, he has a chance to come back and take this lead versus Mo. Kept his composure, never took himself out of the game, never switched up the game plan, played problem football because problem football has brung him everywhere. A run commit Ooh, and a banging. good run commit from Mo. A great run commit from Mo. And he just hit problem in the chops. Oh, yeah. Third and real long. Another fumble right there. Third and... 12 from the 20. He can pick up a first down. The entire field is open here. Back to the Trey Y flex. Maybe a double sales concept. Throws an in route. Ooh. Mo is out there banging, hitting. Fourth and one. Hurry up. Big play here. Problem can tie the game if he just takes the three. Saw something he liked in that formation Mo was in. Got into the hurry up. Right up oh. the middle. Good, great stick. I'm great not even going to give you good stick. That was great that stick. Was great stick. Just a slide in between there. Great stick. It, to, just to not be scared of the block shed at that situation, that takes chutzpah from the greatest of all time. First and goal. Right up the middle. Run commit. Hits him in the backfield. Doesn't bother Rawls. He falls forward for two when he should have lost two.
Let's see if Mo can get a stop right here. Problem in that tight slot up in the center. Another run commit. The defense. This time it works out a little bit better. We're going to see third and goal from that same three-yard line. And we may even take it into the fourth. This game has been flying by. Oh, yeah. This is a big down. Because I'm wondering if Problem will go for it again if he doesn't get it. I mean, he went for it the last fourth down. What's the difference? You're right. You're right. There isn't one. Good slide up. Great pocket presence there. Mo disagrees. He does not think it's a good play. I thought it was a decent play, though. He's going to tie it up. So I believe maybe he just ran that hurry up because he saw something in the play that Mo was in that he knew he could take advantage of. He caught Mo in a situation that he was more ready for than maybe Mo was in that situation. Correct. This time Mo was much more prepared knowing what he ran the play before when he was on fourth down. Good take three there by problem. 13-13, four minutes left. Now Mo has the type of offense where he can take this entire quarter with him. Definitely. He has that kind of offense. You can pretty much guarantee Mo is going to put two clock on right here. Now he moves Baldwin to the right side there. Let's see it as maybe you try to attack some corner routes with him, moving him to the right side of your screen instead of the left side where he's been most of the game. Single back big. Good protection, good pass. And oh. he drops it. Well, he the backup stripped. tight end is a backup for a reason. Problem makes a great strip, second down. Yes, Sherm Durham coming through, poking that thing out. Deuce close again. Single back big, the grown man of all grown men formations. Right up the middle, great read. Oh, that's cool. And if it weren't for that shoelace tackle, we might have been looking at 2013. Yeah. And problem is dialing up the heat out there, 4-4. Four, four. Hasn't five. been sending too much pressure this game. This drive, he is definitely amping it up. Still in that 4-4. Four, four. And True Boy did finally score in his game as well. We're going to go to some double action here so you guys can take a look at that. A table route by CJ Procise. Gets a few defenders off of him. Scores for seven. 14-3. 13-13 big down coming up for Mo right here. He has to convert. This could be his tournament life. Oh, wow. wow. Richardson with the user catch. Took it out of Moe's hands. Mo had the game all but sealed, and Problem said, I need it. That was a big play, big play by Mo right there to come up clutch on fourth and one. I'm, that's a play that Problem makes nine out of ten times picking that ball off. Mm -hmm. But this is what happens when you're playing against the elite Madden players. Someone like Mo, he's able to outstick you and get that pass and convert on a big down of fourth and one. Now there's going to be two minutes left. There have been some sticky situations for both players. This game, at this point, truly is a toss-up. Probably the best game we have had all weekend, and it's only going to get better. Two minutes left. Let's see if the GOAT can come up with one of the clutch stops like he normally does. Good and another strip, strip by Sherm. Good strip. Problem is constantly stripping, making sure if them guys catch that ball, he can poke that thing out of there. He's looking for a turnover. Problem's right bumper game is definitely A1. Single back big for Mo. That wide receiver quick look. Problem adjusts his line late to get to it. Good block shed, picked up. Playmaker. Oh! Big play by Mo right there. And oh, big fumble back! Bangy! The game did owe Problem a fumble. They owed it to him. And he got it back. They owed it to him. I feel like when the, before the patch, that was the number one defense. Bang him. 
You couldn't count on the zones, but you could count on the hit stick. And problem, counted on the hit stick right there. No safeties deep here. Selling out for the run. A broke tackle could have scored six there. But instead, we're going to have second and short. And this is what he does. This is what he does. When the game is on the line, he consistently comes up and makes big plays. Just finds a way to win games and to put himself in that position again. Empty for the first time all game. No block sheds. I yes, lied. Block shed. Real late. Block shed by Benny right there. It's third and 11. Mo needs to come up with the biggest stop of the day right now. That's an interesting time to go empty for the first time in the game. You've had nothing but success running the ball, and then you come out in an empty set, get yourself sacked, put yourself from second and manageable to third and long. Let's see can Mo capitalize on that sack. Trey Y flex here. Mo looking to take over the middle himself. Let the best secondary in the game work the outside. Robin didn't like it. He's just going to let the clock milk. Saw something he was not comfortable with. Also wanted to be able to take the time. He probably knew he wasn't going to run that play with 20 seconds left on the play clock. But he does not want Mo to get it too much time on the clock if he has to punt this ball. And that's a tough decision like, on both guys, whether you run the clock or whether Mo calls a timeout. You kind of like, you know, you're stuck. Because if you call a timeout and you're Mo and he converts, then you just help him out. Exactly. You, you, you handed him the game at that point almost. Wow, big play. Big play. And as you see, problem erupt as he knows he probably just sealed this game to advance to the next round. This is what the GOAT does. When he's down and out, he comes up with a play to advance. Mo did not score one offensive point this game. He still has a chance. We've seen one blocked kick. Let's yeah. not give problem these three points too quickly. Yeah. Mo is going to have four eligible blockers that he can manually control to try and come in and send this game to overtime, or perhaps even pick that ball up and get his own points. Mo decides to ice him. Let's see if the ice will register. Yes, it does. He does ice him. The first ice kick of the evening for the ball game, the greatest Let's of all time. See if Mo can get it blocked. As you see, Mo constantly <laughs> hitting that right trigger. <laughs> ball game, the GOAT, 16-13. Once again, Mo unable to beat problem when it counts on the stage. 17-3 in your Cyrus True Boy match. True Boy with, excuse me, Cyrus. Just turned the ball over, it looks like. No, Cyrus intercepted him, got the ball back from True Boy. Cyrus 